this video is talking about intersecting linear equations. Um, so here we have two linear equations that have been graphed on the coordinate plane. And what we're trying to determine is where do they intersect and what does that point of intersection tell us? First, let's talk about this line, which represents y equals 2x minus 4. When we say that this line represents y equals 2x minus 4, what it means is that any pair that is a solution to this equation is on that line. Let me show you. So I'm just going to choose some values for x and substitute those values in place of x into the expression 2x minus 4. And that'll tell me the y values that correspond to those x values. Now, let's look and see what happens when I graph these ordered pairs. Check it out. Here's negative 1, negative 6. Here's 1, negative 2. Here's 3, 2. And here's 5, 6. All of the points are on the line. That's because these ordered pairs are solutions to this linear equation. They cause it to be true. And you know what, let's add one more value to our list here. What about when x equals two? When x equals two, y equals zero, and that point is also on the line. And I added that for a reason. It's gonna be important in a minute. We'll see why. So now I'm gonna use the same process with my other equation, negative one fifth x plus two fifths. So let me highlight the line that I'm talking about, and then I've got three ordered pairs to graph here. Let's see, negative three, one. 2, 0, I already got a dot there, um, 7, negative 1. There we go. And so you'll notice that these are also on the line. That's because these points are solutions to the equation y equals negative 1 fifths x plus 2 fifths. Now you may have noticed that one of the points is actually on both of the lines. And that point is right here. That's the point 2, 0. The point 2, 0 is a solution of both of these equations. It's on both of the lines. It is also known as the point of intersection for these two lines. It is the one point where the lines intersect. It is the one point that is on both lines. Let's look at another example. Now on this one, you already know what it means for a point to be a solution to both equations. So I'm just going to ask you, which ordered pair represents a solution to both equations? Can you find it on the graph? Where would it be? Well, here's all the solutions to this line. Here's all the solutions to the other line. And the only point that is a solution to both of those is this one right here. 0, negative 2. 0, negative 2 is our point of intersection. It's where they cross. And it is a solution to both equations. This can actually be really helpful in real life. So for example, let me read you this word problem. It says that the Townsville Fair has no entrance fee and it charges $5 per game. The Cityville Fair has an entrance fee of $10 and charges $3 per game. What does the point 525 represent? And how do you know? Well, let's go find the point 525. Let's see, here's 5 on my x-axis, here's 25 on my y-axis. So that would be this point right here. This is 525. This is my point of intersection. Now, it would have helped if I had labeled my axes, so let me go ahead and do that. My x-axis represents games, and my y-axis represents dollars. So 525 means it costs me $25 to play 5 games. And the interesting thing about this value is that it is true in both of these fares. Even though Cityville charges an entrance fee and Townsville does not, the price of playing five games is the same at both of them. Let me show you why. At Cityville, we would pay $10 to get in and then we would pay three times five games for a total of 25 if we were to play five games. Now at Townsville, we wouldn't have to pay an entrance fee, that's zero but we would pay five times five games. That's also 25. So our point of intersection here is the point at which both fares charge the same price for a number of games, and that happens to be five. So there's a lot of information that you can tell from a point of intersection. Let's look at one more example. So here's a scenario where two guys are driving to San Antonio. So Tom started 500 miles from San Antonio and is driving at a speed of 75 miles per hour. 
Felix started um, 400 miles from San Antonio, and he is driving at a speed of 50 miles per hour. So there's the line that represents Tom's distance, and here's the line that represents Felix's distance. What we want to know is where are they going to be when they will be the same distance from San Antonio? When will that happen? Reading the question exactly, use the graph to determine when Felix and Tom will be the same distance from San Antonio. So what do you think? Where is their distance the same? Well, that would be at the point of intersection, which is right there. And where does that happen? Well, it happens after four hours of driving. And at that point, they're both going to be 200 miles from San Antonio. So after driving for four hours, both Tom and Felix will be 200 miles from San Antonio. So let's just wrap up really quick what we know about intersecting linear equations. Well, first of all, the point where they cross is called the point of intersection. There it is, here's our point of intersection. And the point of intersection is a point that is a solution to both equations. Both of these lines go through this point, and that is what makes it a solution to both of the equations that these lines represent. Pretty cool, huh?